Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you and show you how you can link multiple lists and libraries in SharePoint Online via the lookup column. So here is a use case for you. I have two lists, two SharePoint custom lists here, one for clients, you know, with all the client information, you know, the, the name, address, all that stuff. And then another one for contacts, all right? And what I would like to do is I want to associate contacts to my clients. In other words, I want for each and every contact, I want to specify the company that uh, this contact is applicable to. So almost like a, a mini, uh, you know, CRM kind of uh, solution. Uh, so let me show you how to do that. So again, here are my lists. Let me just show you the lists first. Again, this is my client list, all right, with all the you know company information. And then here is my contact list, a totally separate list. So uh, let's build a, a lookup column. That's how we tie uh, essentially the two lists together. So you navigate to the contact list over here and under add column. So this is something you have to go behind the scenes. You don't see the lookup column on this list. Not a problem. We'll just click more. And uh, we go behind the scenes and we create a lookup column. So let's call this one uh, client. All right, here we go. And then the type of column is lookup. All right, so it's not a drop down, you know, choice that we build or anything like that, right? We already have a list uh, of our companies, of our clients in that other list I showed you. So we're going to look up the information from another list. All right. And a very, very important that it even tells you over here, it has to reside on the same site. You, site. you cannot look up um, you know, do a lookup to a list, uh, um, you know, that can, that is uh, residing on uh, some other site. It has to be uh, on the same site. Here we go. And then, you know, this is where the most important stuff happens. We have to specify which list uh, or library we're obtaining information from. In our case, we're obtaining it from the client list and which column we are going to tie against, all right? So in my case, I'm, I just reuse the title column, which I renamed to client name. So here we go. Perfect. And then we can also display additional information, uh, maybe for each and every contact, since we're going to tie it to the client uh, list, we can also display information from that, that other list. All right, uh, let's just do this. Maybe we'll display you know, the city and the state, for example, all right, on that other list. From that other list, here we go. And then um, now you can do allow multiple, uh, you know, selection values doesn't make sense in our case because right a contact is only part, um, you know, of one organization at a time. So we're only going to tie to one organization at a time. So it doesn't make sense here. Perfect. Let's click OK. And let's see what happened. Here we go. You see it added another column and this few other columns you know, because once I tie this contact, for example, to the particular client, it's going to pull the information from um, that other list uh, for that client. So let's make it happen. I'm going to tag it. Here we go. Drop, uh, drop down. All right, let's go ahead and tag it. And here we go. We select, you see, this is a, a pull, you know, a drop down list from that, uh, you know, other list over here. So let's associate it. Here we go. And you see it pulled the information from that other uh, list, perfect. Uh, let's do the same for this contact as well. Uh, all right, and then uh, here we go, perfect. Okay, and you get the idea, all right? And what's cool about this, so now we're pulling information from that other list. And you know what we can do, for example, we can pin this column to the filters pane, all right? And what I can do now is I can now say, you know, show me all the contacts for this, you know, client, all right? So I can use this column to, to filter for information on my contact list, all right? So pretty, uh, pretty cool. Here's another thing I wanted to show you. Uh, so obviously if I click on a contact name, I get to see the contact information over here, but this is also clickable right here. You see, if I click here, it actually shows me the information, all right, the full information for that particular entry from that other list, all right? So very, very uh, cool as well. Uh, now, uh, very, very important to note is that I tied, you know, my I did the lookup from this list to this list, all right? So 
want to make sure you understand there is nothing that happens to this list. In other words, it doesn't uh, you know, show me any contacts here. All right, you, you kind of have to you know, do the other lookup uh, from this list to that other list. And by the way, let's do it because I want to show you something else. Um, so let's do the lookup from this list now to that other list, all right? So we're going to do the reverse. Again, we are going to uh, create um, a, a lookup column. Here we go. And in our case, so I want to add all the contacts for that particular organization to that list. Again, we're doing lookup. And now we're pulling information from the contact list. And in this case, it does make sense. You see, so we're displaying information from this you know, column right here. In this case, it does make sense to allow multiple values. Why? Because for a given you know, client, for example, you do, uh, you do uh, get, right, can get multiple contacts within that organization. So uh, it kind of makes sense to do this here. Perfect. All right. And let's uh, now uh, fill in the blank. So here we go. Perfect. Um, we uh, go ahead and tag. All right. So for example, for this one, let's just say these two individuals are part of this organization. All right. Look at this. This is uh, because I enabled multiple values, right? Allowed multiple values. We now have multiple values in here. And for this one, we are going to do the same. All right. We are going to assign this individual. Perfect. All right, and again, uh, and again, you know, right? All of these fields are clickable. If I, um, if I now uh, click on this, for example, entry, it will open me uh, the, um, you know, the contact from that other entry. All right, so pretty powerful technique. Now, in my opinion, this lookup column thing, um, you know, is great when you have uh, kind of a smaller number of entries in your, uh, in your list. Uh, because it can get quite crowded, you see. I mean, if you have a very long list uh, of entries to choose from, uh, you know, when when it comes to tagging, it might get a little bit crowded and just not user friendly. So, uh, might not necessarily work from end user experience, but a great a great technique to use. Uh, now, I want to show you something else as well. Uh, so, what I showed you here was, uh, you know, me tying together two custom lists, but you can also uh, do a lookup uh, in the, with the document libraries as well. Not only that, you don't need to do the lookup against another list of library. You can do a lookup against the same list of library. Uh, you, it's a great technique to use when you want to maybe connect uh, an entry in a list of library uh, to another entry in that same list of library. An example could be maybe uh, you have a custom list to capture different action items or help desk tickets and you maybe want to add a related column all right just to say this action item is related to some other action items or something like that in my case i have a document library with company policies and i want to add a related column so i, I can tie the different company policies together so i can say this policy is related to you know a few other policies in the same library so let's make it happen uh, again we add a column more and we add related policies. We just give it a name. It's a lookup. All right. And we are pulling information from the same library. So I'm not choosing any other library. It's the same library. Now, uh, we are going to pull information. You see, we're kind of limited on selection here. We need to pull information from somewhere. And you see, I cannot, you know, for example, pull information from that other you know, file name or something like that. It has to be a title or any of the other fields that I see here. So I'm going to choose title. And uh, we do allow multiple selections, all right, because my policy could be related to like five other policies. Here we go. Perfect. Click OK. All right, so here is my column. Let's go ahead and tag it. And I think I might need to populate the title field. I don't think I have it populated. So let me. Uh, let me uh, check this. All right, you see, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it doesn't allow me to select anything. And the reason is because uh, I don't have the title column populated with any information. So let's quickly uh, make this happen. So what I'm going to do is this. I need to display, um, I need to display my um, title column. I think for that, I will need to go to uh, my view over here. 
and we need to display the title column. Here we go. Perfect. All right. And then I need to uh, populate this title column with some values. So uh, a quick way to do this would be something what I'm doing here. Essentially, I'm in the quick edit mode. And I just copied all the entries and let's just quickly populate them here. So I do, you know, control C, control D pretty much. Again, you know, you might need to, you know, clean this up and all that. Uh, but let's not worry about uh, it for this presentation. So here we go. I have this value populated. We're now ready to, uh, you know, uh, fill in this column. And by the way, we might, uh, you know, hide this one. We don't need to see it anymore. Okay, we now should be ready to tag our policies and uh, apply related policies. So let me, for example, pick on this one. I'm going to assign some related policies to this one right here. So checkbox, the little document information panel on the right and under related policies, you see it's pulling a drop down. Uh, essentially it does a lookup against uh, the title field in my case, right? Uh, for all this other policies I have in my list. So let's just tie it, you know, just to a few policies over here. Perfect. And look at this. You see, it shows me all the other policies that are related to this one. And let's repeat the task, you know, for, for one more. Again, you just uh, do this. Uh, all right. And uh, again, just uh, do, um, you know, you, you tag it uh, to other policies that are related. All right. So, and it's a nice way you know, it's a nice use case, uh, I guess, of a lookup column where you can kind of do this, uh, you know, connections, right, or build relationships, if you will. And again, it doesn't need to be just like I demonstrated to you, it doesn't need to, um, you know, go against another list of library. Uh, in my case, I, I just went against the same list of library. Uh, so I could tie uh, multiple rows in the same list uh, or library, uh, you know, together. Um, so a pretty powerful technique in my opinion. Uh, again, uh, I, you know, for both lists and libraries, I do notice that it works quite well when you uh, don't have a, an awful, you know, large number of, uh, you know, entries in your list and libraries, right? Obviously, if you have thousands and thousands of items or, or files, it just might not be really practical uh, when you do choose, uh, you know, the lookup uh, from the dropdown field. But other than that, uh, a nice little technique Hopefully you learned something new. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.